Hey guys, it's your best fright friends. I'm Kelsey. This is Rachel. Rachel's a surprise topic even for you today. It is. Let's talk about uh, Sugar, Sean O'Malley, oh. getting stopped in the first round um, against Marlon Vera. And let's talk about this in particular, because you've seen it, right? It appears there's video evidence which suggests that Vera actually is the one that knocked O'Malley out, right? Right after the fight was over, I was like, oh, this is a freak accident, a freak injury. But it really looks like that um, Vera, using his leg, hurt the other guy's leg, and that's why the fight was ultimately stopped. Well, the fight was ultimately stopped because... Because of the elbow? <laughs> yeah, like, that's he... Point. But people think what led to that was that O'Malley had an injured leg. Yeah, So but, he couldn't, he just couldn't get out of that round. He but tried. But why did he have the injured why leg? Did he have it was presented leg? to us in real time as, oh, he must have stepped wrong, but it looks like... He got one of his legs checked, which means that the guy blocked it in a way yeah. that hurt him, or, or he was kicked himself. And that, I mean, either way, honestly, like, even when somebody stepped wrong or something, the reason that he would have stepped wrong is because of what the other guy's doing in front of him. So I don't right. really think it matters either way, but the optics of it are certainly worse if you're an O'Malley fan, if you thought he was going to be the next Conor McGregor, as he touted himself to be, and a lot of people touted him to, him to be. Um, is that if you just, if you got knocked out, right, rather than if you injured yourself. Which one are you saying is worse? If you got knocked out. Like, if you legitimately got beat. I'm saying he got legitimately beat anyway, but the, you could make up a story that, like, well, he just stepped wrong and hurt his ankle, like. Oh, okay. So the, the difference between it being the a freak injury led to O'Malley's loss on Saturday night versus O'Malley got beat. Then yeah, the freak injury is much better overall for O'Malley. I've seen um, outlets show where he stumbles and nothing else had happened. Like he st stumbles, so it seems like he his leg was just injured and it just happened. Like that's the freak that injury it, part. Yeah. Then I've seen other outlets. Right. Um, in particular, I read the Bleacher Report roundtable post. Who wrote, who wrote that? Who? 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 Well, the Kelsey McCarthy. I wrote it. Lyle Fitzsimmons. Rachel also kind of wrote it. Because <laughs> you said. Anyway, see, you interrupt me in my train of thought. I wanted to do the new thing. Woo, woo. That's our new thing. But so reading over that was that no, Vera, Vera injured him, which is the whole point of combat sports, right? Exactly. <laughs> and so he actually did the thing. He defeated O'Malley in the first round. First with uh, some kind of kick that injured his leg and then finished him by the end of the round. Yeah. So, yeah, I totally get that. It's hard to, I think, you know, it might be hard to know. And if I'm O'Malley and I'm O'Malley's, I don't know if he's got promoter, like, it's not like boxing. He's so got people. He's under the umbrella of UFC. And other people. And, but, like, I would really be spinning out there that this was a freak injury and then moving forward to avoid any other freak injuries, you know, yeah. and continue to be successful, and then you'll be cool, dude, you know? What I would do if I were him is I would just own up to whatever the truth is. If you just stepped wrong, well, yeah, then that's you just the stepped best. wrong. If you were injured by the way he checked your kit, then say that and work on that going forward. I think what's great and what I love about the UFC and MMA is people can take losses and still go on and have great MMA careers. The most popular and celebrated MMA fighter ever, Conor McGregor, had two losses before he ever made it to the UFC, and now he has four on his record, right? He's still the most popular UFC star, superstar in the world, even in retirement. So unlike boxing, where often you see promoters purposely pad guys' records all the way to whenever they can basically get him in the biggest fight possible and make the most money possible, the UFC is all about competition. O'Malley still has a lot of talent, um, and I think that he will be able to rebound from this. I do think it's going to be a harder climb up the ladder now, right? You're not going to get the same kind of promotional push that you had when you were undefeated and, and talking a bunch of noise. Yeah, which makes sense. But I think you bring up a good point, and that is if O'Malley can uh, be authentic, be genuine, yeah. uh, I think that not only is that just best in life, regardless of what anybody else around you thinks, yeah. I also believe that in this case, People, uh, people respond positively yeah. Yeah. to authenticity. People like that. And 
And hey, that's really easy to maintain. You're not a character. You're not a yeah. caricature of a, you haven't picked up some kind of, um, you know, act to put on for your whole career in the public eye, which is basically every time you're outside your house. Like, so if you're just authentic, then yay, your life's going to be so much more enjoyable yeah. because you just get to be yourself all the time. Who doesn't want to just be themselves all the time? You yeah. Know? And he so, seems, I mean, the story I make up is that he's in general, while he has some obvious gimmicks, they're authentic gimmicks, right? Like Connor, the thing that made Connor so. Well, you can't. Is you because his, he does believe all that. He does carry himself in a way. That's how he lives his life. Yeah. I feel like so O'Malley like, is similar in that I think that he can just roll this into his next thing, right? Yeah. If that's part of, like, if he can do it authentically and that's part of him, then yeah. And other people that do this well is Tyson. Like, Tyson Fury is a good example yeah. of somebody who, hey, that's just him. That is literally just him. Like, when I read his book, even, I was like, this book is just like crazy. It was just like shocking to me how his authenticity, because anyway, him, I think Deontay Wilder, I tend to see with Wilder, he seemed very authentic. Uh, Especially early in his career, I think he was yeah, too. Yeah. He bought in a little bit to some of his promotional stuff that he does. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but that, that, that can that be happens. part of your authenticity. If, you're, if you were 33 and 0 with 33 knockouts, you'd yeah. be the same way too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's hard not to to buy yeah. into that stuff. But hey, you know what's not hard is buying into Real Talk with Kelsey it's and easy. Rachel. It's easy. It's free. It's very valuable. Why don't you just go ahead and do it? <laughs> Why can't we just convince you right now to like, comment, and subscribe? Minimally, you should subscribe.